many time we listen that there are different type of rockets are there sometimes called the single stage, stage rocket sometimes some rockets are multi stage rockets and people say that multi stage rockets are more efficient than the single stage rocket with the multi stage rocket we can reach greater height with the lesser fuel consumption is it true or not let's discuss this with the help of one of the problem of variable mass system uh, let's read the problem it says that a double stage rocket there is a double stage rocket has an initial mass of m1 gas is exhausted from the rocket at a constant rate rho is equal to dm by dt with an exhaust velocity u relative to the rocket when the mass of the rocket reaches a value mu the first stage of m1 is disengaged from the rocket and then the rocket continues the second stage at the same rate and exhaust velocity as in the first stage until it reaches the mass mf then there are different questions to be asked and ask is telling that neglect gravitational force calculate the velocity of the rocket at the end of the first stage provided if start from the rest second question saying that calculate the velocity of the rocket at the end of the second stage and third question asking that what is the final velocity of the one stage rocket of the same initial mass m and the same amount of fuel is it greater or lesser than the final velocity of the double stage rocket suppose it would have not disengaged after the first stage it would have continued the cell then would have it would have reached the greater height greater velocity or the lesser with the same fuel let's discuss the uh, problem now let's try to understand the problem let the rocket be going like this it started here and goes like this and initially the mass of the rocket was m1 and its velocity was 0 and the it starts fuel start getting burned and it takes takes off and the fuel is getting burned at a constant rate let that constant rate be i write this equation dm by dt may be equal to alpha and the fuel is coming with a constant velocity of relative to the rocket Question is if the u speed is coming the u is equal to constant quantity that the, the rate the speed with which the fuel is coming out the burned fuel is coming out with respect to the rocket then this either goes after some time when it attains mass mu and another mass m dash shell is removed from this so then mu mass become mu minus m dash and it attained a velocity v dash at this time at the end of the first stage after that you continue the second stage it goes like this and when the mass become mf it's attained the velocity v double dash so we'll be calculating v double dash will be calculating v dash at the end of first stage what will happen so let's try to understand this one uh, by drawing the free body diagram of the body so if you see at any time t body is here and is moving with a velocity v fuel is coming out with a speed u with respect to the rocket so there will be a thrust on the rocket and the thrust will be equal to dm by dt into relative speed of the burns fuel with respect to the system that is equal to i read a dm by dt alpha and the exit plus u both are constant quantity in addition there may be gravitational force downward but the question is saying that neglect gravitational force will not be writing right now so this is the only force acting so if i write the equation of motion i'll write the f net force is equal to alpha u a constant quantity so in this place i can write acceleration f is equal to ma so acceleration i'll be writing as a is equal to alpha u by m but m is not a constant quantity m is a variable quantity its initial mass was m1 and the fuel is getting burned at the rate of alpha so this mass m will be equal to m1 minus alpha t at any moment of time if i take and substitute here i will get this alpha u by m1 initial mass minus alpha t and i'll write this a is equal to dv by dt is the rate of change of velocity 
So I will set up the differential equation. I will be solving this equation. So if I write this one, I get dv is equal to alpha u a constant quantity into dt by m1 minus alpha t. If I integrate both the sides of the equation, I will get will be getting the result. Let's go to the next page and solve. So this is our equation. We'll put the substitute the limit at t is equal to zero. The velocity was zero at any time t. What will the velocity will be there? So I can calculate the t. I will substitute time at the velocity v there. So this left hand side become v minus zero. I can write v is equal to alpha u into dt will be ln m1 minus alpha t by m1 with a minus alpha here differentiation alpha alpha cancels and i can write the v as a function of time is equal to u that is the exhaust speed with which the gas is coming out of the expected rocket minus m1 by m1 minus alpha t this is the famous equation where this u is the u relative and that is given the u we have taken so this is the m1 by this one so this is equation this famous equation this famous equation it is called as salvoski's equation t s i o l k o v s k y s equation rocket equation salvoski's rocket equation so what is salvoski rocket equation say that this in the absence of gravity salvoski equation become u relative into ln of initial mass by final mass well, up till the time it is attained. So any time velocity can be calculated like this in the absence of gravity. If gravity is there also no need to worry about here only another another g will be there mg by mg will be there another minus gt term will be appearing there. It will be little bit lesser than this but anyhow gravity has the question has asked us to neglect. So this is the value there. So let's calculate in this value this is the value then let's find out ki what is the velocity of the body just after the first stage got over. So once the first stage got over the velocity, the mass, the mass of the rocket has become initial mass was m1 and at that time the mass of the rocket is equal to mu and mu is the mass of the rocket at that instant. So the velocity that will be attained by the body suppose I get the vidash at the end of first stage vidash will be equal to u from this equation I am writing from this u into ln the initial mass in our problem equal to m1 and the at the end of first stage the become mu person is saying the mu is there so this is the velocity that the rocket will be attaining at the end of first stage then we'll go to the second stage and see this is the velocity the rocket has attained at the end of the first stage after that disengagement takes place some pass m dash is removed that lower part where fuel was there that is usually get removed so after that we will draw the free will diagram and the second stage then again same thing will be there gravity is not there but thrust will be there but the question is saying the rate of consumption of fuel is same Relative velocity with which fuel is coming out is same. So our this thrust remains same again alpha u. So again same equation right f is equal to alpha u in the second equation and acceleration is equal to alpha u by m. But right now this m will be how much? What is the mass of the rocket at any instant of time? That we will see then this is equal to m. What is the initial mass? At the second stage mass was mu minus m dash mu has already attained plus disengagement take place minus alpha t this will take this one and this will write the dv by dt then we will take the dt to this side and you should integrate and you should obtain the result like this from any time to any time we can calculate or i will show you it here so dv dv is equal to alpha u by mu minus m dash minus alpha t dt this need to be integrated and v is from v dash initial at t equal to 0 suppose again i started the stop time t is there a v dash 
and now new velocity to be calculated any time if i start the stopwatch again so left hand side will be v minus v dash and this i have to, I have to integrate this one but whatever result is there i no need to integrate no need to integrate because the equations are same everything is same then i'll be getting the final result also similar way i'll be getting the final result so if i want to write the result then comparing this equation comparing this equations here i can write I'll erase this one what will happen is that v dash is dependent on the exhaust speed in this case also exhaust speeds are same so i'll take this one this exhaust speed will be equal to u ln what comes our equation salvoski equation what is say u into ln into final mass initial mass by final mass what will the final mass will be there mf what is the initial mass in the second case what is the initial mass is there mu minus m dash for the initial mass so this will be the change in velocity last time zero was there this is a change in velocity so in this case i want to find out this should be my change in velocity so my new velocity v double dash at the end of first stage will be equal to v dash he has attained earlier plus this term v dash already has i will write properly so already it has attained the v dash speed so this is equal to v dash plus u times this after integrating i will be getting this values so this v double dash what i have taken is the velocity it has attained at the end of first stage v double dash how do you calculate the velocity this is attained in the second stage let's write both the equations so these are the velocities we have obtained v dash and v double dash v dash the velocity attained by the rocket after the first stage and this is the answer of our first question and this is the answer of our second question but here we have it is in terms of v dash so let's substitute the value of v dash here and we'll get the equation v double dash is equal to u plus ln sorry u into ln u ln m1 by mu that is mu dash plus u ln mu minus m dash by mf this is our answer of the second question but i will be giving a name here because it a double stage rocket is there i give, i put a substitute d here so the velocity at the end of second stage double stage rocket now this is the so i'll say the first question answer is answer this second question answer is this one it is now let's compare this one third question what third question is saying that had it not been double stage rocket had it been a single stage rocket would it reach the higher speed or it will reach the lower speed than this why double stage is do done to compare this one let's discuss like this had it been a single stage rocket then the velocity it would have attained suppose i give the name again v double dash but the substitute is s single stage rocket is again our salvoski's equation say that u throw the u with a constant given u ln of initial mass initial mass is m1 and the final mass it would have attained how much mass it would have attained in this case it attained mf mass now in this case mass has been disengaged m dash mass has been disengaged at the end of final stage so that would not have been there assuming the same fuel is get convert this would be this much plus m dash this much plus m dash so this would have been the velocity of the single stage rocket so this is our double stage rocket this is our single stage rocket we need to compare this one which is more is there to make the comparison better let's uh, write like this this can also be written as u ln m1 by mu this one i went to two parts plus u ln of this mu i have taken to this this side so the second second term i will be writing mu by mf plus m dash so this two terms to compare out of this two term this terms this terms are same 
have written in such a way after making it two parts so just we need to compare this part and this part so basically this part and this part observing this we can easily tell that now definitely this this is higher than this one and mu d double dash is greater than mu s double dash that the second stage the double stage rocket or multi stage rocket the speed attained by the rocket is higher than the speed that is attained by a single stage rocket so in order to attain higher velocity the rocket is designed in stages we have seen that two stage rocket means is placed one in the, the two stage rocket one rocket is placed over the top of the another rocket when the fuel of the first stage that is lower is exhausted its rocket casing is detached and drop off the velocity attained so far become the initial velocity of the second stage which is now ignited the removal of the surplus mass contained in the first stage considerably helps in attaining the still higher velocities so the final velocity attained by the two stage rocket is greater than that attained by the final stage rocket of the same weight and same fuel supply so the velocity can be further added by increasing adding more number of stages however student this rocket of equal stages is not generally the optimum consideration not equal first half second half same mass the in fact the first stage should be made much larger than the second in order to attain the higher final speed in fact also in the beginning you have to lift off uh, whole of the load has to be lifted off so the engine has to be very very powerful in there but later on as it goes up up a fuel gets consumed also the shell is disengaged also then you require lesser amount of fuel also later on so multi stage rocket is higher than the better multi stage rocket is better than the single stage rocket if you like the solution hit the like button and keep watching for more interesting problems and solutions